I'm Amy Sherman from MLive.com and I'm about to show you how to have a Michigan Fest Day in Ludington, a town on a big lake with a big boat and big fun. It's your perfect summer destination. And I don't know a better way to start my day than to go have a big breakfast at a place that the locals love. Brenda's Harbor Cafe is located in downtown Lexington and is popular with tourists and locals alike. And they're really well known for their breakfast. So I decided to get two of their most popular dishes and I can't wait to dive in. I got the Eggs Benedict that comes with shaved ham and homemade hollandaise and these awesome looking Swedish pancakes with a little lingonberry jam on them. The restaurant has been open for over 10 years now and is a busy, bustling place. After that big breakfast, I kind of feel like I might need to get outside, and there is no better spot to do it than Ludington State Park. This massive piece of land is the perfect place to explore nature, with powdery sand beaches, beautiful Lake Michigan to swim in, or if you bring your bike, your kayak, or your hiking shoes, you can explore miles and miles of trails. If you're up for an even bigger adventure, take the two-mile hike out to Big Sauble Point Lighthouse and climb to the top for breathtaking views. Ludington State Park is one of Michigan's most popular state parks for a reason, and I think I'm gonna go hit the beach right now. In Michigan, we're all pretty familiar with deer, but here at our next stop, we're gonna check out some animals that have an even bigger rack on them at the Amber Elk Ranch. Owners Don and Bob Norfolk took what was a hobby and turned it into a 130 acre ranch with over 100 head of elk on it. You hop on a tractor, cruise around the ranch, the bulls come up and you can just very gently touch their antlers. It is just like velvet. Holy cow. And you get to feed these elk right out of your hands. <gasps> Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. And they're so gentle, these massive creatures. And then we got to go see the mamas and the babies. And oh my gosh, mm, my heart, they're so cute. It's just amazing to see animals up this close. This might be the best 12 bucks you spend on your vacation in Ludington. When you're hanging out in Ludington, surrounded by all of this beautiful water, you really better have some fresh fish. And while you can go out on a charter boat and catch your own, you can also make it easy on yourself and head to one of the downtown restaurants or to Batrell's Fisheries. It's been open for over 100 years and they have a plethora of fish to choose from, from smelt to beautiful whitefish. Ludington has a pretty incredible maritime history dating back to the early 1800s. And inside the Port of Ludington Maritime Museum, you can experience it firsthand on three levels of exhibits, artifacts, and more. You can climb up inside of a tiny lighthouse and learn how lights used to run lighthouses with special glass panels. There's scale models of many of the ferries that used to ply the waters here in Ludington that you can check out. You can even captain the Pier Marquette Ferry right into harbor. Downtown Ludington has tons of fun stores to explore, but if you're gonna be a real tourist, you know you have to pick up a t-shirt. There's no better place than Gordy's. Owner Gordy Gusswine started out in his basement selling hockey equipment. Then he bought the sweet little store in downtown Ludington that featured skateboards and apparel. Now you can walk in, pick out a t-shirt, bring it up to the counter, and they'll put any of their logos on it right before your very eyes. It's been a hot day here in Ludington and it's time for me to get some ice cream. Thankfully, they have some of Michigan's best right here at House of Flavors. In summer, this can be chaotic. Our cone line is known actually to go out the door and around the corner and around the building. We have a great group of people. They scoop and the line moves fast. We do breakfast, lunch, dinner. We're really well known for rotisserie turkey. 
Now your family, the Neal family, yep. um, you start off as, as Park Dairy, but, yep. but now you're House of Flavors, and you make a lot of ice cream here. Yeah, we're doing about 30 million gallons of ice cream a year. Um, 30 the million. Rest of the pot. <laughs> Manufacturing is a separate entity from us, but you know my dad is still involved there, my sister is the CFO there, so we're still very much a family conglomerate. My grandpa told me like 50 years ago, Barry, when you're scooping, it's an S. You form the top of your scoop, okay. and then you form the bottom of your scoop. Okay. Mine's not that good. That's a junior scoop. Hi, junior. There's so many stories of families sharing their experiences that happen in the cone line and taking pictures and multiple generations. We enjoy what we do, and I think that shows to our customers. At least that's what they tell us. I think it might be time for a nightcap, or maybe two, or three. It's hard to choose when you're at the Mitten Bar where everything is Michigan made. From craft beer, to wine, to even cocktails. And all of the pop here is good old Fago. Cheers. I've had a busy day here in Ludington from shopping, eating ice cream, hitting the beach, and even feeding the elk. There's nothing better at the end of a long day than sitting back, relaxing, and soaking in a West Michigan sunset. It's the perfect ending to a Michigan's best day in Ludington.